So I'm getting ready. The last few little bits and pieces to pack in my pandemic pod camper in the back of this hot chalk truck. I'm delivering a car to Ontario, picking up a camper and a couple of motorcycles to bring back. It'll be a good little trip. Should take me about six days, I would say. Anyway, I've got my wife's homemade sauerkraut to keep me company. And uh, this time by myself, I enjoy. It always charges my batteries back up. So I'll post along the way. Thanks for uh, checking in. I appreciate uh, all the views and support and comments. Wonderful. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Pretty nice. Lots of traffic though. I've been now 40 some odd minutes in Ottawa traffic. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Sun sets at 4.41 today. To news I just listened to. Anyway, beautiful day.
3,100 kilometers down and another 800 to go. I just crossed into the border from Quebec into New Brunswick. Quebec to me feels like a completely different country. Uh, not just language, but just the culture, the uh, just the feel of Quebec seems different to me. But I always feel more comfortable when I get back to New Brunswick and then, uh, of course, my home province of Nova Scotia. Um, there's absolutely no sign of the pandemic in, in uh, Quebec. It's so funny. It seems to be no limits on, on how many people can be anywhere or there's no signs in the stores to, you know, to distance or, or uh, social isolate or physical distance, I guess is what it's called. But anyway, it's a weird time we live in. I'm glad to have had my pandemic pod on the back. It's, uh, it's a comfortable place to stay. The bed is comfortable. I've got a furnace keeps it nice and toasty even though it gets well below freezing at night everywhere I've been. Um, I've also got uh, a fridge and a stove and water and probably the most important thing is a functioning toilet. Um, so I really am completely independent other than stopping for fuel once a day. I need to get fuel about once a day. The thing about driving hot shotting, I call it hot shotting, is I can drive as much as as much as I feel I need to. I'm not limited by any uh, rules or laws or, or log books. Um, under weight of under the weight of 14,000 pounds, and that allows me to haul a couple of vehicles. Right now, I've got two motorcycles and a camper van on my trailer, and um, I don't even know what's behind the truck. I'm still getting some super fuel mileage with this old Dodge Ram diesel um, and it seems reliable and comfortable and the seats comfy and, and it's got good climate control the air conditioning works in the summer and got a great heater in the winter but so I can make money once a, once a month I take a trip it's not all I do for a living obviously you guys know that I uh, I make uh, lumber and cut some firewood and sell it deliver it with this truck deliver lumber with this truck so this truck is, a, is an important tool to my family's income. And if something were to happen catastrophic to this truck, it you know, burned up or hit a moose or was in a collision or something and, and uh, the Lord spares me and I, I survive it, I'd have to find another one just like this to replace it. That'll do as much work as this will do. So I base my rates on about, at today's price is about a buck 60 a kilometer for a one-way run. So if somebody calls and wants something delivered one one way, I charge a buck sixty a kilometer from the time I leave the house to the time I pick it up and get it to where it needs to go. And I charge half of that, so 80 cents or so on the backhaul. And uh, that allows me to, uh, to cover all my expenses. And so far I've been pretty lucky getting a backhaul on all of my, all of my runs. I set my cruise slow, I, you know, between 100 to 105, um, and that lets you maintain a good a good speed with any of the traffic. I'm not, I don't seem to be a burden anyway. Even the tractor trailers, the guy's passing me now. Uh, if I saw that he was struggling to get by me, I'd I'd shut the cruise control off and let him crawl up. So here I'm crawling up a hill now, and, and I can see that he's already struggling. So. I'll just shut the crews off and let him go. I just want to be a, a good neighbor. I'm not sure if it's factually based or if it's unfounded at all, but there seems to be an, an us against them mentality for us hot shotters and against the long haul big rig truckers. They've got log books and rules and scales to deal with, and I don't. I, if it fits on my trailer and it's below the weight, I strap it down, make sure it's safe, and I hit the road. Now keep in mind I, I am uh, properly insured. I, when I haul cars um, I give my insurance company the VIN number. The vehicle that I'm hauling has to be insured, has to have its own insurance and then my insurance covers it as well. Unless I own the car. Sometimes I buy a car and I take advantage of the backhaul and then fix the car when I get home and sell it. Or fix the car when I'm home, sell it and deliver, which also works well. Um, so. But anyway, as far as uh, as far as this this trip goes, I left last Sunday morning, 
oh, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'll be home. I could be home today, but I'm going to stop in Fredericton tonight to my in-laws for the evening, and I'll be home tomorrow by lunchtime, which will be Friday, so that's not too bad. Five days, 4,000 kilometers. I spent a full day in uh, Halliburton at uh, my destination. He's also a, a friend of mine. He's got a cottage, and he and his son were there, and, and I spent a full day with those guys, and just relaxed a little bit, and then uh, had to make a trip to uh, Sherbrooke, which is uh, about an hour south of Montreal, and pick up the van, and then run back to St. Hyacinth last night. I had my own parking spot at, uh, at Shea Walmart, which is a great place to stay. There's actually internet in the parking lot there from a couple of different places, so if I want to watch some Netflix or just relax, I like to be off the road by dark, and that... Uh, that gives me uh, a good day's run. And that is actually about a 14 hour, 15 hour drive from my house. So um, getting to Fredericton will be a big day today. And then it's only a little more than five hours to go home from Fredericton, which is a, a short day. I'll get up, have a coffee, and then hit the road. So, and my dog is there. My wife is there. My in-laws are there. My wife's gonna spend some time with her parents. And I'm gonna uh, pick up my the Wonder Doodle Dog and he's going to travel back with me. So. Anyway, thanks a million for uh, following this video along, and I'm hoping to create some good content, and I think this has been something that people may or may not be interested in listening to me ramble, but it's an easy way to make some money if you've got some time, and you got a truck, and you got a trailer. Um, you can certainly uh, make ends meet. Like I say, I make one trip a month, and just these little tidbits of information that I give you if that's not quality content for you to make you want to subscribe and like, I don't know what it would be. So take all this information, use it to the best of your ability. Anyway, thanks again for watching. That's all I have to say about that for now. Over and out.